Sass, you close the door? Yeah. What, do you live in a barn? <laughs> oh, I forgot that one. They're, yeah, because barns, barns are just they have. Open. Yeah. No, barns have doors that Wait, they close. Wait, Sass, stand right in front of me. Motherfuckers really are moving into yeah, barns, barns are rapidly nice now. now. Yeah, right there. The suburban fucking. sprawl going into like traditionally rural areas. They're just renovating barns. Barns, just having writing an album in a mm, barn. Or people will in. make a city house and they'll give it a barn door inside, like one of those sliding oh, doors. You oh, know, the garage those? doors at bars. I actually think a garage door at a bar makes it a what awesome. door? Your Chicago is showing, door. dude. Your Chicago is yeah. very Whoa. much showing through. You've garage door. Me. You've lost me there. Oh. So you there's know, these uh, things. So like, in in the hold on one sec, Frank. In the winter time, like, you can let your car sleep in it. Wait, I don't get it. Oh, like a car hole? It's a car bed inside. It's a car house. Like a truck bed, like the bed of a truck. It's a car house. It's like a dog house for a car. <laughs> oh, that contextualizes uh-huh. it perfectly. Like uh-huh. what Snoopy lived in, but yeah. if uh, Lightning McQueen lived in it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Frank, uh, hello. Thursday. How's it going? How's Tank it going Thursday. Yet? Good to see you. Good to be here. Uh, will you be joining us with Rough and Rowdy? I'm not going to Rough and Rowdy this time. Uh, there was a little bit of a miscommunication. Um, basically, I, I, I let known that I want to go to Army-Navy because army Navy is Saturday. And I'm going to go to the Army-Navy game. And it, it would have been uh, impossible for me to uh, to uh, do both. To do both. Uh, Army-Navy, are you going to come to our tailgate? I'll stop by, yeah. Okay. Uh, me <laughs> and Doug's out. Mm-hmm. Swing by. We'll have to, have to figure out where it is. Uh, okay. I'll give you all the details. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Um, what was the miscommunication? Good to have you back, Tay. <laughs> the miscommunication was they didn't think I wanted to go to Rough oh. and Rowdy. But it's not possible? It would have been very tough. Late, yeah. It's it's so a good Getting to Charleston, West Virginia is not uh, exactly easy. Uh, it it would have been le- I would have been a lot happier if it was in Charlestown. Yeah, yeah. agreed, agreed. Um, well, Did we just West Virginia explain to KB? Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but like, so there's a ta- Charlestown mm. and a Charleston. That sounds like it's confusing. Dave definitely doesn't know which one we're he going. He thinks he's he thinks there's one, and they've he, just been. I remember the last time we went to Charleston, he texted me like a day before, and he's like, "We should get there early so we can bet on the horses." And I was like, well... Not quite, honey. I, uh, sweetie. <laughs> sweet cheeks. I mean, uh, I mean, Charles, Charlestown. I like Charlestown. I like Charleston. Charleston's good, mm. too, but it, it's it's oh. di- it's difficult to get to. What about that What about that Golden what Dome? That nice little Fuck airport, it. Chuck Yeager. Yeah, what about the, what about the dome? The, the Marshall? Capitol building. Nah, yeah, the Capitol I'm, building. I'm anti-Charleston. Why? Oh, the, Charles the, Yeager, the guy. Is that the Charles from Charles Tun? Chuck Yeager, the, Chuck the, the, Yeager? the pilot. Fast, mm-hmm. flew fastly. Sass, how you doing? Good. I was going to wear the headphones, but it just doesn't look right with the hat I wear have on. That's fair. Yeah, you've been uh, holding the oh, headphones that new hat. I know. I got to get a haircut, dude. I don't. I have no explanation. So There's plenty of places to go. I just don't like getting haircuts. It yeah. makes me extremely anxious. What were, where were you late? Where, why were you late? Because I was busy. Who are you meeting with? Dave. How'd it go? Uh, it went fine. Not great. Not not bad, though. Oh. So, so I guess that'd be fine. Yeah. Was yeah. It, was not it pointless? Not bad. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> okay. But no, it was a good meeting. Did you bring up McAfee's new deal? And you're like, eh. McAfee's no. getting $30, 30 million mil. a year. <laughs> really? Pat I, That, by the way, is, and I'm, congratulations to Pat. I don't think people realize that. I think that pays for his whole operation. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's just Pat's. You know what I mean? Uh, his employees as In well. corresponding news, everyone's fired, though. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, you know, I've always wanted to try to do boys. this solo. It'd be like if the, yak, yeah. if the Yak signed a deal for $20 million, that would probably, I'd only get like 19 of them. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, probably. Make you guys wrestle for the other mill. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Brandon would actually murder everyone. <laughs> I would for that murder mill. for a scrap of that other for mill. For that mill? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Brandon, you'd have to fight. I think Brandon would actually beat up everyone if money was on the line. His rage. Did he spit in a fan's face last night? He did. <laughs> no. No, he didn't. He didn't. But that's why he is suspended from this show because yeah. he spit in a fan's face, which he didn't do. But 
he's suspended. He was real upset about that last night. He was. He was hot. I mean, I get it. Like, I got why he was pissed if he just had normal interaction with someone and they walked away and they were yeah. like, bro, Brandon Walker's a dick. I, I don't think it was that kid. Yeah. Brandon Walker. Yeah I, th- yeah. I assume they were probably like, he was probably like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. And that was it. Well, Brandon gave him his five minutes. Che, you remember Brandon almost got into a fight at the Iguana House. He did? At the zoo. Oh, you had left. Steven, why are you why all you dressed up? Suit? You got a fucking... What you, got a funeral? you got a couch to sell? Someone die? What like that for? What if the answer is yes? I would have been like, oh, that's too bad. You dress um, up for Bob Dole? No. <laughs> His um, funeral? No, 98. I, did he die? Too young. He killed himself. Yeah. Really? 98. Because of what happened with the, the Bucks, he was so broken up about them forging <laughs> the ID cards that he couldn't <laughs> stand life no, on he Earth. Died, <laughs> he died at 98 because he's, he was 98. Died in 98. That's a, I that's a long ass decades. life. That's an awesome life. That's cool. Um, decades no, I, ago, he was running for president. What the fuck, TJ? Recently? Decades ago. That, that <laughs> jacket looks enough? perfect yeah. on you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks good. Works I have always wanted Nick's legs. Am so I full corduroy? Yeah. Why do you want my legs? I, I was just joking. You're three <laughs> That was a good joke. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> did you see me fucking fall you, for it? You did. I you bit. I shit. fucking bit. Yeah. I don't know why you're interesting that legs. if Bob Dole would have been president, we would have had a vice president that played uh, professional football. Uh, Who's who? his running mate? Uh, Jack Kemp. Ah, yes, that's right. That's right. Little history lesson for the people out, out there. Uh, Stephen, so the funeral today. Wh- who, who died? No, I, I dress up for a, uh, a video I film on Thursdays for the Fantasy Football Factory parlay, and there's a lot of pressure tonight because I've hit three big parlays in a row. So, was it plus nine hundred last week? We had Sunday? a plus five thirteen, a plus seven hundred, and a plus nine hundred. Tonight's wow. going to be plus seven hundred. It's live in the Barcelona Sportsbook. Jeez. It Barcelona. is. Yeah. I'm gonna. I gotta film the video and then. That's my way of promoting it. Wow. That's fantastic Consummate news. professional. You look very good. You look great. You look like a snack. Thank you. My wife hates this jacket. Why? Um, it's been in her closet for 10 years. Her closet? Know. I'm getting a lot of compliments on it. Yeah, I like Enrique, it. Enrique, people upstairs. Enrique, mm. huh? Yeah. He said he likes the jacket. Does his uh, compliment weigh a little bit more than everyone else's? No. To me, it would. Yeah, big time. Big mm-hmm. time. I mean, he knows fashion, so. Why? Why, Why does he know fashion? He's kind of a gamer nerd. <laughs> gamer nerd. <laughs> <laughs> what What makes you think Enrique knows fashion? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you said that, and I don't know what it was based off. I don't, I don't, Is it a I don't think he's thing? been. He's never talked about fashion to me. He's, he's also not it. like, <laughs> he, you know, he dresses well. fine, but he's, yeah. he's I don't not, think he's into think fashion. He's, he's not wearing anything that seems like it's cutting edge. Can we split to Enrique sure. Cam? He likes to wear a t-shirt. Is he in like t-shirt a tuxedo or something? Jeans. I think I think he knows what looks good and matches. Matches? You said he was into fashion. He knows fashion. Well, I define a good like bang day. <laughs> that thing is like that, that thing's hanging. You bang energy, bro. Look at it. <laughs> 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 He's unflappable. Yeah. He's unflappable. He's completely unflappable. <laughs> no fun. Oh, that's because we got old blue eyes over oh, there. Oh, blue eyes, <laughs> sharpshooter with those things. Blue eyes guarding He's the door. He's smirking, looking in here. Those things I've, see everything. I would. I fall head over heels. Yeah, every time yeah, yeah it's not so fun now, is it? <laughs> Look at those you eyes. Tell on yourself, Look motherfucker. Look at those eyes. The Caribbean Ocean <laughs> has <laughs> nothing on those eyes. My word. <laughs> mercy, <laughs> mercy <laughs> me. Oh, <laughs> Something funny. Woo. These things zoom. Those eyes. Yeah. Look at those eyes. What's that fucking uh, yeah. Lana Del Rey song? There's There's song. Goo Goo Dolls wrote Iris about him. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Those ocean eyes. My boy's got ocean eyes. Island boys. <laughs> Looks like Turks and Caicos. Anyway, why does Enrique like fashion? Yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> off the hook. Let's talk about... Uh, so wait, where does everyone stand on the Brandon Walker thing? So legitimately... Like, you guys actually seem to have a side. I kind of was... I thought it was pretty funny he got so tricky. I mean, he was very mad. Like, oh, I, yeah, I mean, mad. that was Rome's funny. question first? I'd that be, also, the, can you pull up Brandon Walker's, the, the tweet he sent where he's standing in the hallway <laughs> for the guy. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. But I do think, I, I side with Brandon in the fact that, like, I, I think Brandon probably had a normal interaction with the person. And then for them to be like, it wasn't normal kind of sucks. And then publicly, like, tweeting it. Yeah. Kind yeah. of funny. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of funny. Argument with Brandon Walker where? Well, the problem was it was believable, and that's right. Brandon's fault. 
Right. That was tweeted at you guys. Like, no one was going to see that if you I, didn't respond. I didn't, I didn't respond. I didn't do anything with it. I just sent it to Brandon. But then Brandon responded. He got very upset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And waited Sorry. for the dude. This tweet is the biggest what? lie ever told on the internet. Not quite. That, that's what you would say <laughs> when it was not quite a lie. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of truth in that. Brandon was a little con- confrontational. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> he is pissed there. Come meet me. Come meet me in this hallway. I know. What was he hoping for the outcome to be? He was going to give him a show. Just debate. He loves to show. Yeah, debate. debate. Debate me. I am not rude. Come meet me in this hallway so I can tell you how not rude I am. No one has ever challenged someone to a d- debate without steam coming out of their ass. Yeah. Yeah. No one's challenged anyone, to, a grown no. man, to meet him in the hallway to, oh, to look, prove that they're nice. You showed your support. There we yeah, go. fuck him up, Brandon. That's what I said. Let's go, Brandon. I am willing to debate any liberals in the office if anyone will want to debate about anything. No, you know because why? they just won't listen to fucking logic. You know, true, they're fucking... It's a disease. Yeah. Is it true that Brandon actually thinks they're chanting "Let's go, Brandon" for him? Yes. 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 yes, he fully <laughs> believes that. Yeah, he it's does. The peak of his delusion. There was <laughs> one moment. I think obviously now he knows, but there was one moment that we were. It was like right after it happened. We were at a college football show, and there was a sign that said "Let's go, Brandon," and he looked at me like, and I was like, ah, "Do you know?" I think he might have known, but it would have been funny for him to just walk around being like, I'm really popular right now. Let's go, Brandon, everywhere. What is What was my question, Owen? Why do you think Enrique knows? knows fashion? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, huh. a, great <laughs> <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> Who else? What was that? That's, that's <laughs> running people tap dancing. So why do you think Enrique kind of is tap uh, tap dancer? I think he no, does. Uh, I think because uh, Sass <laughs> yeah. is tap dancing. He does after so. answering that question. Yeah. Enrique does have his degree in musical theater, I believe. So wait, <laughs> Sass, Sass back Burton. to you. Back to your big meeting. Um, so it was not good, not bad. It was a meeting. It, it was it, just a meeting. If we did a, um, you know how, like in a game, it has a win probability? It was not a win. No, but <laughs> was there ever, was, there, was, was the win probability ever on your side? Never. Okay. <laughs> so you were the, the underdog going in. Off as and you soon were losing. as I went in, the win probability <laughs> you was You walked in. And what was I think it? when I walked, maybe when I was halfway through the entrance of the door, I thought it was on my side. And then as soon as I sat down, ah. instantly off my side. <laughs> All the way, and well, it was never. Did it no, ever not like? Even, no, not even. Did it, close. Go, it, went, it actually down. kept going down. Oh, so, so the highest point it was kept going down until I just accepted defeat. <laughs> <laughs> did uh, did you uh, fail to plan? Laugh. Did you fail to plan? Because no. failing to plan is planning to fail. Uh, no, Sass actually, in fact, was here at like nine <laughs> twenty in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I saw. I, wa- I was standing there, and he walked in. I was like, "What's going on here?" Like, well, I got a big meeting with Dave. Yeah, you did go in with a briefcase with papers just spilling yeah. out yeah. of it. What was on those sheets? What was on those charts? Did you do a bit? Did Whole you try a bit? Nothing. Did you try a sketch? Drawings. What if he had said, "Hey, do a sketch. If you make me laugh, you make get me laugh right now." Uh, Three hundred. You get Pat McAfee deal. Yeah, I don't know. You don't think you could pull for it off? thirty million dollars? You couldn't make the boss man laugh. No, I think I could. We had a good laugh at one. What point. was the? Oh, laugh? really? What was it about? And laugh. about how much money I wasn't getting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. I found that charts no, and uh, had a PowerPoints don't really work with him. Laughed it off like pals. Ah, nice. <laughs> he doesn't have headphones. What you even, say, so he Steven? couldn't hear what you said. I, I found that charts and things of that nature don't really have an effect on Dave. No, your PowerPoint was great, Stephen. We all know that. No, I did have a PowerPoint. I didn't show it to him though. Oh, okay. But I show it, it to us. It was yeah, good. It, a mental PowerPoint. Five tool yeah. player. I came and he was like, "What do you have a presentation or something?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> Why would I have that? <laughs> and I like X'd out of it. I'm not a pussy. <laughs> did you actually? <laughs> no, but he did say that, and I said no. While I have a presentation up on my laptop. Did you actually? Yeah. Oh, so you walked Can in holding an open it? laptop? Yeah. Can we see the presentation? Oh, I get why you no. would think that. Why? Yeah. Why would I ever do that? Why? Why would you ever not do that? Steven did it. Steven showed us Can his confirm. presentation. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. There's not really much to see. How many it slides? Fair, is it, it was one slide. It sounds like you're not a five title. tool player. No, I think it was, it was eight slides. The but did you have a title? The title slide? is Lil Sasquatch. Okay. By Lil Sasquatch. What was the Can like? How'd you go from little, com- little comedic relief in it? That was funny. Right in the beginning, when yeah. you need the relief. <laughs> 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 How'd you fly in this the text? Isn't funny at all. What? How did you fly in the text? What do you mean? Did, did it like zoom in? Like did it go like? I know a star wipe when I see one. Oh yeah, it was like disintegrating. Dissolve. That's fire. 
Can you show it to Stephen Che? Because Stephen Che won't tell, won't make us. No, I don't it. have it. It's in my, it's on my laptop. Okay. So. Wait. So you walked in with it open, and he asked you if you had a presentation. Then you said no and exited out. Exited out. I just didn't show him it. Why? Did you say no. There was no reason for him to see it. Why? Yes, it was. If you prepared it for him to see. <laughs> I, I just read my slot. I mean, it was an instant. It doesn't matter. Like, it was instantly didn't go how I wanted it I mean, this to is, let's be honest. Like, this is how probably every 20-year-old's presentation to their boss for a raise goes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it really wasn't I told that. you my story last year, or last a couple weeks ago. Yeah. How I got a $1,000 yeah, raise. that's basically. Thinking I was going to get, a, like, a $20,000 raise. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically exactly what happened. Yeah. Except I, I got nothing. It happens every, I mean, I feel he like He gave me a pack of kit. He gave me a pack of Skittles. <laughs> Could be worse. My dumbass signed an eleven-year contract. <laughs> I'm renegotiating at forty. Did yeah. you say Viva yeah. to him on the way out? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, good. I was gonna say if he didn't do that, then shake his hand. He did say he doesn't think I give a fuck about barstool. I mean, that's probably which I don't think is true. I didn't say that. <laughs> 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 yeah, I would never tell that what? to his face. <laughs> why? Uh, what did, yeah. Why wouldn't you say that? That's you might be the worst you. negotiator alive. Yeah. Oh. It that wasn't. Really no, you guys don't get it. You. There was no negotiation. <laughs> but there should have been, though. But there wasn't. Like, there should have been. But no. you should have said, I do care about Barstool. He, yeah. For what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was no reason. He was like, I don't care. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but you uh, do know. It was a completely normal but meeting. you do care about Barstool. Yes. So Since why did you let him that? know that? I don't know. <laughs> I, really feel like I, I mean, I've been working here for a year and a half, and I'm gonna probably be working here for like 30 <laughs> more years. So I don't yeah. think I need to. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't think I need to like prove that. So I you signed a 30 year deal. No. What? Stewie wow. Clubhouse is clear. Jamie's done. Congratulations on your 30 year uh, deal. You guys, okay? The meeting was completely normal. We should actually do that to to cuck McAfee. Like little sass, big announcement. Lil Sass signed a 30-year deal worth $1 million total. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's enormous. It's backloaded, though. <laughs> backloaded. Look at Enrique's outfit. That guy knows fashion. He knows fashion. Holy fuck, Sass. I remember it I was a completely fine meeting. Like, it went, it went like, well. Like, it wasn't, like... Oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what a moment caught on camera. TJ. There. TJ, you're an absolute sleuth. It wasn't like I did anything dumb or like said anything. Like I made my points and he made his points. It was very normal. You know when Owen had his review, we made uh, we we did it on yeah audio yeah we had we listened to it yeah. Gaz was a good actor. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Man. That went great. We got the New York State minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for waitresses. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to rent out your shower. Probably <laughs> Airbnb the shower. <laughs> Because <laughs> sometimes a great when, you're a, idea. when you're a tourist yeah. walking around New York, it's so hard to find a bathroom. Memberships yeah. to bathrooms would be awesome. Yeah. Like you build a really nice clean bathroom. Like a gym it's membership? Like, yeah. yeah. yeah or, or it's like a, a parking garage. Yeah. You essentially mm-hmm. just have, there's on every other block, there's a super, super nice cleaned bathroom. There's somebody working there. It's like mm-hmm. safe. You're never in there. It's And oh. there's like um there's like barbells and dumbbells in it. And like you can like <laughs> I like that. Like mm-hmm. treadmills or something like I don't that. Think that would you ever could park work. your car. Yeah, you could park you could also have your car there or like what if you beds, could sleep there too. Yeah, yeah. And there's like mm, beds I don't know and, beds and that TV, sounds crazy. Televisions and stuff like that. You kind of sit Cotton on the couch machine. Mm-hmm. Cotton candy. Somebody that brings you food. And then you check in and check out? I think that that's Feasible. Okay. I think that we might be fucking on to something here, though. I don't. Uh, I don't know. You what know, do the know? Uh, actually experimented about t- twenty years ago with uh, pay toilets uh, that were like uh, basically porta potties that you had to uh, put like a uh, dollar to get into. I, yeah, but then I paid for a toilet at a road stop once. I think Europe has those for toilet paper. I think it's a southern thing. Europe in, has in those. Europe, you got to pay like anywhere you go to the bathroom. Yeah, I remember being in France taking yeah. a train and having to take it's crazy to pay to use the toilet. But that's, that's I I prefer it. Yeah, because it's like guaranteed yeah, cleanliness. But like then you're getting there, something for yeah. a barrier of also aren't the bathrooms in Europe like you go in and it's like there's a little bit like a girl shitting in the stall next to you. <laughs> Every Unisex, bathroom. you mean? Yes, yeah, that's actually true. No, like no, that's what they're like. It's like boys. It's like there's just one bathroom. Yeah, there's yeah. a big laxative <laughs> problem in women. <laughs> it's but there's, I think that's happening in the U.S. a little bit. It is. It is. There, we went to a bar. I went to a bar recently, and the bathroom was whoa, 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 whoa. How? What? How did you go to a bar? Oh, I paid the bouncer. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Stephen, what do you think about this whole uh, SAS faking? This whole moral dilemma. Falsifying documents. He could probably play for the Bucks. We got to hear his side of the story. Yeah, you could play for the (laughs) Bucks. What's what's your side of the story, SAS? I don't have one. Damn. (laughs) All right, we've heard it. So what do you think now? (laughs) (laughs) You got to take a drive. I mean, it's not his day for presenting cases, so. Let's, let's give him a pass. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> takes off the headphones. Jay, how's the contract deal going? Or the content deal? Ooh. Uh, we're on the same page, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Uh, we're on the same page, me and you. Why don't you wear the headphones? Don't you care about Barstool? <laughs> I guess not. Because those guys behind the glass, those guys are Barstool. I literally, like something, I look like deformed in the face if I wear the hat and the headphones. Let's see. What? I just don't like how it looks. But I'll wear them just to prove how pro uh, bar school I am. Ew! Wow, take oh, dude, blur yeah. out his head. <laughs> Wait, that looks blur his head. <laughs> For some reason, your dude. face looks deformed now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at it. Frank loves it. Who's fleece switch whitest? No. Frank, how's the new place? New place oh, yeah. is going well. It looks uh, great. Um. Still got a few things to unpack. I got to get my baseball cards and stuff uh, organized a little bit better. Uh, they're just basically jammed in a closet right now. Have you met your neighbors? Met a few of them. Never really talked to any of them yet. Well, Doug's. Doug's, right? Yeah, yeah. well, Doug's. Yeah, Doug's what? is not my neighbor. Well, he's on the fifth floor. You're on the second. I don't what? Think is that, that? Does that count? Is that public? Yeah. Yes. What? Unit's complex. Unit's no complex. That's pretty sweet. Yes, yes. It's, 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 uh, how many people live in your building? Uh, it's pretty significant. There's like, uh, let me see. There's probably about 30 uh, units on every floor to four. 30 floors. units? Yes. On, on every, every floor? floor? Yes. Holy shit. That's a lot of units. So it's probably about uh, 120, and there's another building that's uh, about to open up next door that's uh, not completed in construction yet. All so units in that building, too? Probably about the same. So there are a lot of people. Yeah. Who has the hangout apartment, you or Doug's? Uh, Ducks. I have the uh, probably the hangout apartment. I have uh, a lounge on my floor too. Oh, oh. Ooh, let's go. I have a lounge on my floor where uh, uh, there's an indoor outdoor lounge. Uh, there's uh, uh, they're, they're not. Compl- I don't know if they're cooked up yet, but there's going to be uh, grills. That's nice. awesome, man. Really nice. There's going to be a bocce court. Uh, what? Ooh. You Frank, live in an all inclusive resort. Yeah. What's Frank. going on here? Uh, he lives in hedonism too. They oh, have. Yeah, he uh, does. <laughs> they have oh. a, uh, a a ping pong table on the outdoor uh, grill. Although right now it's it's a little a little chilly a little to go out there. Pong. Frank, I'll come play bocce with you. Uh, you love bocce. I do. I wouldn't invite. I have a bocce. Set. Park, I have right? a bocce set. If he wants to invite me, I have a bocce set and and the coup de gras is there's also a billiards table. No shit. Damn. You gotta get your own stick. I'd like to play billiard someday. But That'd Frank, nice. does it have a shower in unit? <laughs> oh yes, it does. It has a, v- oh. a very nice shower. Wow. At least, and 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 I get this to shower. The temperature actually says a consistent temperature. You know, my previous apartment, mm-hmm. I I would want like a, a kind of a lukewarm sh- shower, and it would alternate between cold and hot. Well, that's so, good for circulation. So some people pay for so that. for so like uh, it'll turn it on, and then it'll be really hot, and it'll be like ah. <laughs> and, then, and, then, yeah. and then, then all of a sudden, I tried to uh, turn it down a little bit, and then it was like, Ooh! And then, <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> so it alternated yeah. between cold and hot. Uh, I had no idea you were making in-shower unit money. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, At least well, somebody is here. Even better than that, I have, uh, I have a dishwasher. I used a dishwasher for the first time and never used a dishwasher before. The belch. Uh, I also uh, have a uh, washer and dryer system, so no more laundromats. I like yeah, laundromats. I love laundromats. I hate laundromats. What? Really? What, I wow, hate what laundromats. Do you like them? Yeah. What do you do there? You sit. I, you I sit there and you off. watch your clothes oh, go oh, spinning yeah. around for forty-five minutes. Meanwhile, someone's using up eight machines, so you have to use. So there's only one machine for you. So that means it's going to take you now two hours to dry your clothes. Damn. I just like the concept, though, of a park. Uh, it's like a parking garage. It's like a set it and forget it business that doesn't need an attendant. Like it makes its own money, but nobody and a lot ever of places has to oversee it. Have you been a lot on laundromat places... TikTok? No. Oh, it's great. In, Bunch in, of laundromat uh, owners. in <laughs> Madison, I don't know really? if they still yes. have it. There was a laundromat bar. Which you know, a that's, a, that's a that's a great combo. Cool. You go, you that's show up, combo. you drink, you do your laundry, and then you leave. That's a great combo. I, I you forgot your laundry. Do they have like arcade uh, games? Laundromat, combo. maybe Frogger, uh, ping pong. Uh, not the laundromats I've I've seen. Uh, 
most of the laundromats I see just have torture TV. They always have like the view on loop. Oh. <laughs> uh, torture yeah. TV. You know, the view is like having you know, your fingernails. Big Bette Midler guy. Yeah, bamboo under yeah, the yeah, yeah. It's like it's like having your fingernails plucked out of your uh, your hand. Mm-hmm. What happened to the good days? The Connie Fosters of the world. How about uh, Regis and Kathy? The Regis, Regis alive? Regis is no. dead. Yeah. Regis dead. God Kathy Lee still alive. Right. Um, you know, though, sure. though, yeah, you know, I gotta say this morning. You have, sh- sure. Morning show TVs across the board are just awful. What about did you have something hand? on hedonism too? Yeah, I did. Uh, Hedo Rick. So someone hit me up after our episode last week, said that his best friend was obsessed with Hedo Rick and would go as him for Halloween every year. So when his best friend was getting married, he tracked down Hedonism Rick, who. Doesn't have a cell phone or a home phone. Fuck yeah. But he found out where Hito Rick works, and Hito Rick's supervisor said the best way to get in contact with Hito Rick is the Hooters down the street because he goes there every <laughs> night for dinner. Every, every night, night he goes for dinner. Unbelievable. And he got Hito Very Rick believable. to leave a message for his buddies. The wild women, the wild women, the ribbon and the Karen. The ribbon and the Karen. The ribbon and the Karen. This is Hito Rick in Arizona. Jay and Lindsay, I want to wish you a very wonderful wedding and a very happy and long life together. Rip and tear on your honeymoon. Ooh. Rip and tear on your honeymoon. I want to wish you the best from Heel Rick in Arizona. Rip and tear, baby. Yeah. Rip and tear. We got to find him when we're out there. Oh, wow. Why would you want to rip or tear? Is that an ode to, like, hymen deterioration? I think yeah. so. Nice. He said, the rehe- <laughs> he said the rehearsal dinner, the groom side loved it. The bride side was n- horrified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this the duality guy, uh, of hedonism Rick. It's all about the groom. I just really love the fact that hedonism Rick just has a standing date every night at Hooters. Or that people love he- day. people love Hedo Rick like that. Yeah. There's Hedo yeah. files out there that just... He just has the there. one video, right? Yeah, yeah. That's all it took. And he just goes, he lives his life, doesn't have a cell phone, every night goes and sits down at Hooters for dinner. That fascinates me. People who like go and eat out for a meal every day. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's like an, uh, it's an elder. It probably, it'll probably die out. No, you I think don't think so. No, what? Mm-hmm. I, I, no, I, I agree with you, the elderly part, but I think everyone, like when I'm older, I think that would be something I would do is like go I'd to a diner sure every would. morning. So it's, it's, it's brain. It stimulates yeah. the brain. Yeah, and you don't want to cook. Do. You don't have to. You don't want to cook. Some people just go their their whole lives not cooking. You know, you and you go to some diners. You could uh, get something different every day. You got cheesecake factory. I mean, you got big menus. You cheesecake got the giant factory. menus. I mean, yeah. I would love to go to a cheesecake factory every night. Yes, that would be something fantastic. different. So I ate my way through the menu. Do you think? Mm-hmm. But the, by the time you reach the end, they're going to have new items. True. Do they add new it's items? It's like the like Golden that? Gate Bridge, always painting it. Yeah, it's never done. Mm-hmm. Wow. You should. That'd be a good video, Big Cat. That would touring be a good the video. menu mm. for the rest of your life. Yeah, <laughs> that that's a, a full time. And job. every time I go, I just fill up on the bread and never get. To the bread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe next time. Next, yeah, yeah. Tune in tomorrow. I'm gonna try not to eat three loaves of this brown bread. W- what's that uh, place? Uh, Texas Longhorn Roadhouse. Road Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Or yeah. just Longhorn. Well, Longhorn Roadhouse. Longhorn, Longhorn Steakhouse. Steakhouse. Or the Texas Longhorn Road Network. Yeah. They have those that that honey bread. With yeah, the honey, honey wheat. I got a bone to pick with KB No Swag. Oh, oh, please wait. Hold on. This bone was brought to you by our sure friends at that? Muggsy. <laughs> Muggsy is the most yeah. comfortable men's oh. jeans on the planet built with a pr- pr- proprietary stretch denim. These jeans look stylish but feel like you're wearing sweatpants. The same dudes that brought us the world's most comfortable jeans are also your one-stop shop for chino shorts, tees, and hoodies. Give the gift of comfort this holiday season with Muggsy Jeans and use code YAK for $10 off your order at MuggsyJeans.com. I was Bone wearing, brought to you by MugsyJeans.com. I was wearing my Muggsy the other day, and it felt like just like a pair of pajama bottoms. Oh, You've gotten a lot of yogis. compliments on those, too. The light ones? Yeah. They, oh, yeah. They, they, they Hell really yeah, nice. Frank. They're good for any season. Okay, so um, Bone Away. KB No Swag <coughs> stood me up last night. Watch it, Chrissy. S- oh! oh at Radio sure. City Music You're Hall. You're speaking Wait, out of turn. No, no, I didn't. No, you, I never. You did. You ever. You didn't. Did you go to the Rockettes last Whoa. night? After you had a standing invitation? We saw him invite you. I know that Roan went to the Rockettes because he came in fucking singing show tunes. I was. I was high-stepping like a goddamn Rockette. I'll show you the pictures as well. I was at the Publicity Live show. How, no, you, He was at the after no, party. 
You were at the Oh, you, you're one of those guys? Too cool to go to the show? Radio City Music Hall, brother. That's photo evidence of me being there yesterday. A beautiful picture. Of wow. Frank. Look at that. See? Look at that. See? Wait, let and me see the timestamp. I'll be it. That is yesterday. Yesterday, 7.54 p.m., right wow. before the 8 o'clock Rockette show. And KB No Swag was a little late. nowhere to be found. Well, I stood out front for however long <laughs> waiting for KB <laughs> The no Holiday Swag. Spectacular. That's The Holiday Spectacular. Yes, Frank. Yes. That's, uh, that's, a, uh, that's a New York tradition. It's a tradition. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I thought that since uh, KB is a relatively new New Yorker, that we would go mm-hmm. together. And you didn't come. You were just standing online waiting mm. for me. Yes, I'm standing online. <laughs> we just did, another we, American online. We can't let that Peace slip. Camp we can't let that sponsored by Muggsy. Yeah, KP, bro. you look massive. Yeah, tonight. you you have a giant dick yeah, bro. today, brother. Oh shit! <laughs> Shoulders as well. <laughs> uh, do you think <laughs> the Rockettes camp. back in the day was like essentially <laughs> porn? Porn. Yeah, it was yes. like everyone. It was like, dude, Sports mm-hmm. Illustrated. Uh, edition or the uh, it was yeah. yeah only way to see leg is yeah, to kick like, up that high it's like every year it's I like, can't wait to take my kids and my wife to this so I can just stare at these women and then have something for my spank bank it's man's greatest year. trick convincing right. women to like the Rockettes yeah mm-hmm. yes it was there was more w- men there last night by far oh but old men horny? Just, yeah who don't have access to the internet mm-hmm. you could tell and they were just it their was their boobs like, no. Oh. No. Now, it's all legs. legs. It's more legs. It's They're very leggy. leggy. Have they gotten Muscular rid of the height legs. restriction, or are they all the same height still? No, they have. Uh, it's like the fucking Rockies. Mm. It's fucking peaks, what? valleys. What They're this all different. Country. All Just different Just get another heights. job. All different ethnicities. Unbelievable. Uh, what do we decide for our holiday spectacular? When it when uh, what's uh, the holiday? I think schedule? we each get five gifts, varying <laughs> values, varying desirable. Desirable. No, well, TJ's idea we should do, but Nick, I don't want you to have to change your whole schedule. No. When is it? I was when just going to take. I was going to take a little vacation time, but fuck it. When are we talking? It was, about? It you the boys 17th. are my vacation. <laughs> I'm not here the 17th. You are not here Friday the 17th. No, I'm going to be in Boise, Idaho. Bowl? Why don't we do it uh, tomorrow? Mm. Mm. No, we have rough and rowdy. Oh, fuck. Let's do it Monday. I'm gone all week next week shit brother what about the 20th you I'm, can't go I on can the, do 20th? the 20th, out the 20th. Can do the 20th. why i'm home what do you mean home west virginia you don't love barstool dude you're right oh, anyways okay. catch me on the tico 10 today you're, okay. <laughs> um, you're spending an entire uh, week in boise idaho yeah why are you there for the full week we got to do some fucking pre-roll videos for this fucking bowl game brother for, and some stuff during the broadcast we what need to th- sprinkle in yeah what was that steven He's golfing. Just did this. For what? Pre-roll videos. Oh. Shout out Roan. Oh, okay. I, I've done some, too. That was, an ad, that was an ad? Yeah. I mean, that was uh, an ad. Frank, is there anything yeah. Roan has to see in Idaho? Uh, well, uh... Can we actually pull up Frank's last vignette from Idaho? Maybe we'll take a quick tour. Beaver yeah. Dick Park. Beaver yeah. Dick Park. The fucking the libs are trying to yeah, infest that Dick state. Park. Vignette from no, my they're trying to oh, take. They are not. Cali libs are trying to take over Boise. They are. They have no they, chance. Yeah, Grant. They, they have, have no yeah. chance. They're gonna fail hard. You can get a fucking latte in Montana now. Bullshit. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All the celebs moved to Montana. Mayor started that. Yep. But that shit's never going to happen to Boise. Boise is one of the last bastions of true American conservatism. I know, and it's starting to fucking happen. Are you going to stay out there for the Boise-Idaho Bowl? When is that? Kent State's playing in it. Oh, no, I ain't, I ain't watching Kent. Okay, no. no. I don't watch Mac schools that aren't in the, the Arizona Bowl. Not Solidarity, this year. Solidarity, bro. Not this year, my dog. Sorry, bro. Central Michigan, maybe. I'll watch them. And I just hope that uh, San Diego State gets rocked. Agreed. Yes, I also hope that. I mean, UTSA, go Roadrunners. <laughs> what, why didn't you like San Diego Road State? Roadrunner. They don't like us. CSAS, are you watching? Yeah. They don't like what us. What did you just say? They don't like us. Who? Roadrunners. <laughs> ah, this Fucking is why meet, you don't meet, like bro. Barstool. I'm checked out. <laughs> yeah, you are checked I mean, out. You're, big time re- you're replaying yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. entire conversation yeah. with Dave. What uh, so we play it out loud. Yeah, give us more nuggets. <laughs> give us more nuggets. So he said, you don't like Barstool, do you? And and that's you s- not what happened. Then what did he say? He said, you're not getting a raise. Pretty much. And that's you said, happened. okay, boss. All right, boss man. And he then, said, but you could get a raise if you if you stand here and, and say the Pledge of uh, Allegiance to Viva. And you said, no way. 
Yeah. I said I you I you said you couldn't make me do it if you held a gun up to my face. Wow. And then and, he did. And then he did. He, and he did. <laughs> and I didn't do it. Wow. Hero. Called his bluff. It was a twenty minute meeting though. Yeah, it was long. What else you guys talk about? How do you lo- how did you lose right away and then then uh, there was Keep twenty more 20 minutes. minutes? Didn't you lead the you show off saying it was quick? Yeah. Did he run up the score on you? No, it wasn't quick. It was twenty minutes. Did he run up the score on you? Yeah. <laughs> he just kept dunking on me over and over again. <laughs> what were some of the dunks? I don't feel comfortable saying them. What is it like Putin, where you just let him score? Oh yeah, yeah. I could have no, bite your tongue. You could have clapped back hard. You oh, you totally could have gotten him. I pretended to take a call halfway through. Nice. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> hold on. This, hold on one second. This gotta on, wait. I gotta go to the store. <laughs> yeah. What do you? What? Are, what's your biggest regret right now? Most of the decisions I've made in my life. Mm. Did he know what you were up to? Like what you've been doing? No. He's like, you're on anus, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. It was a fine meeting. It really wasn't that like crazy. No idea what to think. I mean, you wish None. you could have done some things differently. Uh, yeah, not asked for the raise. Mm. Save myself that embarrassment. Why is it embarrassing, though? Just feel like a goddamn fool. Why? Let's uh, do the dozen p- call it of Dave. Ask him wh- <laughs> what's the average <laughs> salary in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm out on trivia. Don't you have you, to play why does, live? Why do you let it defeat you like this? Because I just... It's, what happened? It, it it's out tonight me. at 7, isn't no, it? No, not that one. I got a question wrong because I was called a friend. I lo- I, Jeff does a great job, and I actually was thinking about it more last night. Jeff deserves more credit for doing something that includes the entire company. Like, it's awesome. Personally, trivia is just like a no-win because I just feel stupid. I yeah. feel dumb. You ever get I don't one, get, I don't get easy questions that I should know, and I don't... It's more like it's more like trivia is proving that my brain is melting. No one ever praises you for getting a question right. Right. No. They're just like, yeah. "How did you not know that?" And I'm like, "Well, now I feel bad about myself." Or they'll accuse you ever you of get cheating. a hard one and then you like it sticks with you for a couple of days. Like, no, I just, Damn, I can't I just I don't I that. get them. That was I me d- when I got Macbeth at the. <laughs> I've I've also <laughs> I've yeah. also quickly found yeah. out I have general knowledge about everything, but no specific knowledge about anything ever. That's the best way to be. Yeah, that's <laughs> ideal. That's trivia. But I don't actually have enough knowledge to get the questions right. That's the worst way to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I have Fuck. enough to be like, I vaguely, f- it's vaguely familiar to me. Every question is vaguely familiar to yeah. me. There is, there, but there is going to be live trivia in Arizona. I'm excited and, uh, for that. I will. That will be fun. That will be fun. Again, it's awesome because it brings everyone together, which that's like a almost impossible feat to do. Six mm-hmm. of us are playing in here. Yeah. yeah. What it, what do you, how how is that going to work? I'm flying out to Arizona to play one trivia match, then flying immediately back. Mm-hmm. Same day, right? Uh, n- next morning. I actually don't think we're even letting you take your luggage off the flight. No, no, I'm not bringing luggage. Yeah. You can get Why a toothbrush. You can have a toothbrush, but one of the kinds that puts the it's but like automatically foams. So is that going to be broadcasted during the thing? During no. the Arizona Bowl, yeah. it's yeah. going like to be opposite or what? <laughs> it's like a I don't live know. show. It's like we're we're. If you come to the Arizona Bowl, there's a bunch of different experiences you can take part in. Oh, that's this cool. This is one of them. That's fun. Yeah, there's like a golf thing with Riggsy. Um, I liked it. I'm flying out like 6 o'clock in the morning on the 1st. Yeah. Yeah. A, lot of Riggsy, a lot of Riggsy in the meeting. I got I to gotta jump out of an yeah. airplane. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. <coughs> what? A lot of Riggsy. What? In your meeting with Dave, there yeah. was a lot of Riggsy mentioned? What's yeah. the crossover? What is the man to look up to? Really? Yeah. The Harvard so man. Sells a lot of merch. Yeah. Oh, that's what he said? You need to sell more merch? Pretty much, yeah. Merch is the lifeblood of this company. Yeah. Should be able to sell more. Just make a t-shirt. I'd like you to always used to have a joke whenever like things were going tough. Just fucking make a t-shirt. I've had someone uh, request me make a hat. I just don't know how to do it. I think you just got to oh, send could, something yeah, out. I'll help you, you make it. You weave it. Do you have a, yeah. do you have a, a sewing loom? machine? Yeah, do you have a, a sewing machine? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I had a sewing machine. It's in my storage unit. I broke it. Okay, Throw so away. you have one. You're sewing too hard? Uh, I, I guess. Uh, was it pedal pump? No, it was an electric one. Uh, I love the pedal pump. The needle pump. broke. S- oh, just get a new needle. We should I actually make people sew their own merch to, to <laughs> teach them. <laughs> Sewing's <laughs> awesome. Hard work. I, I sewed made a in pillow America when I was in fifth grade. It was very better. fun. Yeah. Was there a hole a in it? Pillow? Oh, no. It was, it was you from scratch? From no, scratch. You, you should you sell it. 
You should put it in the store. I That's know. How big is the pillow? That would be your raise. It's big. My mom still uses it. It's a Patriots pillow. So sell it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For a lot of money. You I stitched know. the Patriots logo? No. It was Patriots patterned fabric. So you, p- yeah, just the four corners of the fabric you stitched together. Like Craig yes. from Southern Charm. I was, Charm. In, I was like f- in fifth grade. True. Did you precocious. use a sewing machine? I did. A precocious awesome. young man. It was the one year I went to private school and we had a sewing class. Fuck yes. It was awesome. That's what the fucking libs want you to learn. Do you have the vignette, Za? <laughs> you got some pic- Okay, so this is... So this where's is, this? This is Idaho. <coughs> Huge. Where's this? Uh, what's the address of this so I could... Uh, this Chester. <laughs> check this out. <laughs> it's Chester, Idaho. <laughs> Chester, yeah. Idaho is basically no man's land. Okay. Icicle. Bumble. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. That's very nice. That's beautiful, Frank. Wow. That's a great picture. Oh, my God. That's Whose barn is that? Uh, that is my uh, parents' uh, g- garage. Uh, what? what? No, that can't be. That's, that's not a barn. Because I can garage. tell by the door it's being open. It says Chester, Idaho, not Chicago. Well, it's ten times colder in Chester, Idaho. Let me guarantee you that. Okay. Oh, what's this? Was there a polar vortex? Is this more? <laughs> is this more snow mounds? Oh, that's uh, yeah, a nice garage. Fact, in fact, that's attached to their house. The house is on the other is just like on the side of that. So it's less garage, more house. Yeah. It's a little small area. Wow, that's cool. It's really nice. So what's this? Just the land. Mm-hmm. And this? That's the same garage. What was the oh, consistency wow. of the that snow? That garage is getting a lot of pictures. Uh-oh. Do they have to plow themselves? Oh, or just a little <laughs> pupper. Oh, wait, can we zoom in that picture? I'm, I'm gauging whether or not he deserves a boop. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to uh, see this. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> Frank, why were you dressed up like a nun? <laughs> or a pilgrim? That is a uh, graduation photo. Where'd you ah! graduate from? The Mayflower? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, there, wow, there it is. There You're looking good, Frank. Yes, that's, uh, Back in the um, habit. Yes, it's graduation photos. Nice. They can, is that a close up of the dog? You look Probably. like a judge. Oh, that's right. a boop. I'm booping it. I'm booping <laughs> it. That's a boop. 10 out of 10 would boop. Also boop. That low of a score, huh? I'm going 12 out of 10. Out of 10. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And I'm giving that must boop. Oh, it's a must boop. Oh, Frank. Yeah. Looking good. You catch yourself off guard with that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like you're intuitively. Yeah. Looks like you're looking at, at like an equation that's never been written out. <laughs> <laughs> first time, Frank's first time seeing a garage. What the fuck? Where huh? is this? I got on the wrong flight. That's Chester, Idaho, not too far from Rexburg. Uh, <laughs> they probably want to. And now, where's Rexburg not too far from? Uh, Rexburg is near Idaho Falls. And Idaho Falls is near? Uh, that's eastern Idaho. Eastern Idaho, housing which cities? That's um, the biggest city. Idaho, the I, Idaho, Idaho Falls, Pocatello. Pocatello. <laughs> Close to Boise? They have a no. whack-ass flag, Frank. Idaho or po- uh, Pocatello? Oh, my God. Can we look, at, look at that? It's that? super messy. What? I mean, uh, it yeah. It has, like, dumbass text on I've it. I've never seen uh, a the, lot of uh, conflicting the Pocatello colors. flag. Uh, uh, but, uh, Rexburg. And the St. Anthony uh, Sand Dunes are out there. And it's not too far from uh, the uh, Yellowstone Kill Zone. The, yeah, where murder's legal. I like how you, when you get farther west, like when, when, like on the East Coast, it's like all old English towns and stuff. And then you get out to the west, and it's like some dude named Rex found that fucking city. Yeah, I'll take it's this. Like, like Beaver Dick. Dibs, yeah. Beaver Dick Park. Well, yeah. Beaver hey, Dick uh, Park this is, place is uh, It is. Is it? Yeah. Yes. I got to meet this Rex guy. Yeah. No, I got to meet Beaver Dick. Block or charge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 10,000 retweets, 75,000 likes. You've done it again, Some Rex. Dude just fell off a ladder and broke his yeah. neck. Into you see the Christmas card pieces. he put out the other day? Oh, no. Timeline cleanse. What's his podcast about? No. I don't know. I don't know. Timeline cleanse. Yeah, I, I'd fucking listen to that fucking quick, podcast, bro. Quickly do a timeline cleanse. Did you see the uh, car that was on the lip of Niagara Falls yesterday? That Insane. thread. Insane. And everybody was celebrating when the guy pulled her out, and then they were like, "Nah, that was like a body. She's <laughs> she's dead. She's dead. Oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, they, but they waited too long in between tweets. Everybody was like, "Thank God, uh, this is great news." What you mean? There was like somebody, some old woman drove her car just into Niagara Falls, what? and it was, her car was like teetering on the lip. 
But she, did she, she had die? already died. Well, they, they think she had already died in, uh, behind uh, the wheel. That was went right in. Uh, they used to have the meat. The oh, so she's dead. Long gone. And they all everyone they was cheering. The everyone was cheering as they saw the guy like bring. Well, her that's out. the old maid of the mist. The maid of the mist. The people. Uh, are we so going to show we're another gonna, body? We're another dead, dead body? Are we two for two this week? No, no more dead bodies. bodies. No more we don't dead need a dead body. Za, za, za. Is that Loki twisted. Morbid? He's a yeah. necro. He's twisted. <laughs> He's got a little I mean, necro you gotta, in him. You gotta fill in the blanks. And no, you, the you, no you, ignored, yeah. you ignored the weird flag, but you, as soon as you hear corpse, you're on the case. Uh, Doc, can you next? find out was Bob Dole's, uh was it open casket? Yeah, let's find his. Let's find his. Get a little quick peek on of his dead ass body. <laughs> on it. When you go to a 98-year-old like open casket funeral, can you say, like, oh, they look good? Yeah. No. Ah, better than I thought. Well, they actually yeah. do. They, may, they do a good job. Do they do? Yeah, yeah. they make them look better than ever. They look better than they, they have in years. Should we call my mortician boy again? You had a mortician Ooh, guy. Call your mortician yeah, remember boy. we used to have a call to the yak? Uh, That's right. Team. That's yeah. right. Yes. Bob Dole is definitely, I mean, you know you had a good life when everyone's answer to, like, Bob Dole died. Like, oh, he's still alive? Mm. Jay thought he was dead for decades. That's, decades. That's when you know you've done well. Was he on Entourage? Yes. He was on the episode with Gronk. Oh, yeah. He's they yeah, were good talking for him. about getting pussy. Didn't he um like just lose the presidential campaign because the way he like said his own name? That's like all it took back then. Uh, Wasn't he like saying his own name? Uh, he sweat too much on camera. That was what it was. That what it was? No, that was Nixon with him was he, was he was stiff and old. Well, because he literally couldn't raise his arm because of like war injuries that he had in the war, right? Yeah, war injury. Yeah. Yeah. Hero. Which is like something fucked up to make fun of, but people did it. They went for it. TJ, Rutgers going to win tonight? Yeah. No. Ooh. The what if no. I go? N- the answer is uh, definitely no. They no. Might have the well, I know there. one thing for sure. Rutgers is going to get their ass kicked on Sunday. Oh. Sunday. Oh. Sunday. Oh. 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 Seton Hall? N- G- NJIT? Yes. Seton Hall's a bunch of pussies. Oh, we got... F- is go there beef? Hall. Get the Seton beef Hall. Hall had, oh. Seton Hall had the Pirates. opportunity to open their top right deck at the Seton Prudential Hall Center fan. for the game, and they decided not to because it would all be Rutgers fans. Yeah, well, that pissed me off because I would have gone if they opened a damn top deck. Yeah, so we're both pissed at Seton Hall. Seton, they got a good team? More like Schmeaton Hall. Oh! oh Jesus Christ, TJ. More like Butkers. Oh. 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 That's not funny. There's a team in Central Jersey always embarrasses every weekend. Oh, they this? keep losing. Uh, no, they are losers. Like oh, well, yeah. Football. Mm, yes. They're a big joke. Can't beat anyone. Won't make a ball. Rutgers football. It's a big joke. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a big clown. <laughs> that's a that's an oh, unfair man. use of the clown. <laughs> oh shit! Part, you can't. You, hey, you look, can't go it's full Rutgers ball. football. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, clown, clown, clown face has to be unbiased. <laughs> yeah. Can uh, can TJ? Can you clown face me for a second? I'd like to clown face myself for something. Uh, I uh, I was uh, I I was rude to a rapper named Lex Luthor yesterday. I said that he stole somebody's uh catchphrase and uh, i was just joking but uh he didn't actually steal steal the catchphrase um so cl- clown face on me and uh, mm-hmm. an apology to lex luther anyone lex. else have anything they want to get off their chest uh we actually have someone on the phone lines somebody that was involved in uh the brandon incident at the arena last night okay. is it the guy is it yeah. brandon okay well just so before you start speaking lie who is this hello yeah who is hey, this this is this is Ricky. This is the employee from UBS Arena last night. All right, thank I you for your there. service. We need to vet this guy. That. We need to vet him to make sure it's not a crank. All right, okay. so can I explain? Can I explain exactly what happened last night and how the real culprit in this is the person in my group chat, one of my boys, who posted the group chat. Ah, that's boring. <sighs> no, so wait, the guy that posted it. What? It'd be that more fun me. if it was that actually. Wasn't me. Yeah, it wasn't him. State no, your Okay, kid. that wasn't me. Okay. Also, okay, so here's what happened. I see Brandon. I work there. I'm a concession supervisor. Yes. I see Brandon buying a coke at the at the counter. Whatever. Girl, tell him to take the top off. And then I am saying, "Oh, Brandon, blah blah blah. What's up?" And then we take a picture, talk for a few seconds. The bartender says, "Wait, who is that? Oh, she's not in the bar stool demo." And I was just like, He's, "Oh, I, I had you at she." <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, he's some semi-famous guy at Barstool. Brandon's at least socially distant, six feet away, turns around as fast as he could. He's like, semi-famous. <laughs> uh, we laughed at it for two seconds. 
I'm like, bro, how many followers do you have? He said, I have 200,000 followers. He, I look it up after. He rounds up. Oh. Something. Uh, Ricky, I got a question for you. Uh, let, let's put no. his brain and stuff to bed. Your supervisor concessions. Oh. Oh, that is bad. He rounded up. He rounded up. He rounded up. There was a full round up there. I think he's at 189. It'd be a shame if people started unfollowing him. 195.9. But why'd you only share the bad part of the interaction? Didn't you have a glowing conversation beforehand? Well, I mean, we did. Like, we laughed about it for a sec. I mean, but you only texted your group chat that he sucks. Oh, I'm making small right. talk. I'm yeah, on the right, clock. Right. Well, uh, Ricky, uh, if I go up to one of your concession stands, I get myself a nice big Diet Coke. I turn around. Whoops. It slips out of my hand, falls on the ground, spilled everywhere. What do you do? Oh, I'm going to buy you another. I'm going to get you another Diet Coke. Wow. Friend. Wait, but what if we're friends. it's not me? It's not me. It's a random guy like me. Like Nick. <laughs> oh, okay. No, listen. I see anyone. I'm going to talk them, especially because we're a new arena. I'm trying to get all the kinks out of the armor. I'm trying to give the guests the best experience possible. Okay. That's me. That's in hospitality. Kinks in the armor. Mm-hmm. Kinks in the armor. We still, we're still in the arena. We're trying to get the soul of the arena. Got it. What if I have four of my five chicken fingers and then I realize that I don't like them? Can I get a refund for them if I bring them back to you? Well, you're only getting – well, the first thing, Ron, is you're only getting three chicken fingers. So that's the first part of it. What? Like three. <laughs> yeah, it's only three chicken fingers. <laughs> What if unless I, they look small. Okay, yeah. What if I put uh, they look small. What if I put my dick in the bottom of a popcorn? Yeah. And I say, hey, Ricky, can you can you check this popcorn? There's a dick in there. <laughs> and you look in there. No, and it's I'm my gonna, dick. What do you do? I thought it was gonna be your. I thought it was gonna be your face in there when he said there was a dick. In no, there. no, no, no. It's oh. my dick. Mm-hmm. It's my dick. Hard. Okay, it's your dick. Um. And then I'm gonna have to say, you know what? You can go over to guest services. They're gonna help you out with that right over there. They're gonna jerk us. They're gonna jerk you off. Sounds it. like it. I'll guest pass services. off the problem. You yeah. See, I'm thinking of a new solution. I'm not telling you no, but I'm pushing you away. What do they do with the food at the end of the night? Um, we put it in the compost bin. Usually, my employees like to take it, but I'm like, listen, guys, this ain't happening tonight. Maybe one night. I want to. And so we got to throw that out. So sometimes I'll take on more California rules. Like wait, 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 wait. You don't let your you don't let your employees take take food home. Um, Island Harvest is a big sponsor, so we'll let them eat chicken fingers there. We let them take home it sometimes if they're really like asking for it. Really, really, really poor. <laughs> yeah. wait, wait, what are you uh, talking about? Why would it? I would assume that if you work at the concession stands, you're you get free hot dogs for life. Um, okay, so everyone gets a meal ticket before, but then like, then, then we're like kind of it's a slippery slope because no, I disagree. Come on, Ricky. Well, I, you never heard of the people that bring uh, go to arenas and stadiums and uh, take oh, well, the food and bring it to the homeless? Um, I mean that's kind of what we do in the current day thing. So uh, Frank, you're agreeing with me. Kind of. We're both Nets fans, so like I love you, Frank. Wait, but come on, Ricky, you gotta let the people eat. What are we doing here? Um, big cat, listen, we're letting that we get meal tickets before. They get chicken fingers before. They're making Not minimum wage, them. big cat. Them. Let them live. No, I want I every one of Ricky's people walking home with at least three hot dogs in their pocket. Uh, they'll be walking home. They walk home with a California roll once in a while. We no, no one once wants that. Once in a while, that. California roll. Gross, it's old Everyone sushi. Everyone wants that. You're, you're, That's like $18. Old sushi, Nobody no. wants invitation crab sushi from UBS. Now, come on, Ricky. <laughs> Why don't you do what the uh, Falcons getting... do? The Falcons have uh, cheaper concessions and they sell more because of it. Yeah. Yes. Why don't you do that? Why don't you? Uh, che- yeah. Be, be, uh, yeah, because um, you know what? I'm just going to go to the GM of Delaware North and be like, you know what? Let's change all the prices. All right. I'm good. On this big uh, all right. Call so back in. Call stuff. back in when you do when you get that done. That's perfect. Thank you, Ricky. No problem, guys. Also, by the way, Brandon wouldn't acknowledge that I tweeted back to you guys that I do have a bar stool tattoo. Still hates my gut. Oh, <laughs> wait, what's the tattoo? What, what a jerk. Um, what is the tattoo? Casey Smith's I have face? I bar stool tattoo of the, the stool logo on my thigh. Got it. All right. right. You, you know, know what so to that's say. That's what Sass needs Fuck to do. Fuck yes. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Ricky. Appreciate it, Give us the it, sign man. off. Viva. Love you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ricky. Dude. Ricky. I, Ricky bro, hit a Viva with shit. me, bro. I Arena like, guys I like are his... like carnies without sunburn. Oh, let's be nice. No, it's a good a good Viva. community. Hit a Viva the, uh, with me, bro. I, I like a, his I policy. Yeah, his thing. policy of, uh, you know, you drop your you drop your drink. That's Virginia. Boom. 
Get a new one. Ricky's a man of the people in that respect. I'd like him to get some more hot dogs to his people. Give me a VI, bro. That ain't it. That's the VA part of the Viva. We need two people to do it. What are you doing? VA. That's AV. Frank's got, yeah, Frank's. Yeah, Frank's you got, got AV. That's the AV club. That's what I was on. You That's told me Virginia. I was wrong. Um, I got an interview, so I got to roll. <coughs> Fuck it. Let's all just roll then. What? Let's just go to your interview together. Yeah, let's go to the interview together. But we don't have uh, we don't have our Christmas plans yet. Huh? We're interviewing or the legend Joey Harrington. Shut oh. up! Really? Uh huh. Very excited. He's the no duck. Kitten, huh? He's no Der- David Carr. All right. So what do we want to do our Christmas plans? TJ, you want to explain your idea? But wait, we don't have a date. We don't have a date. What's the last day the office is open? Rose twenty second, I believe. That's a Wednesday. Roan, come back. I'll be here oh, on the 22nd. I'm not going to be no, here. Come, here. come back the 17th. I guess we got to decide who we want more. There's Nick like or, a, Nick a or event. You guys want Roan. It's closer to Christmas, too. Do it. Yes, Nick is known Kwanzaa Is everyone celebrator. else here the 20th? That's a Monday. Uh, <laughs> I have my ultrasound. <laughs> oh, shit. Ugh. So I could can be we a g- come, could be great. It could be. Can like we come with you? That's a no. real gamble. No. Don't come. I think we should plan. Let's a do an ultrasound draft. Ultrasound party. I do want to do a, a gift exchange in some form. I give you some healthy lymph no- nodes. <laughs> yeah, transplant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> what are nodes? Are nodes like a, th- a palpable no, thing? No, you can't. Or they just do like this. <laughs> oh, no, we don't have time. Can't Jerry Seinfeld our way out of this? <laughs> 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 What's what? the deal with? What even what are they? What's the deal <laughs> with the lymph nodes? Um, <laughs> they just sit there and their nodes are in, or they lymph. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll do a Christmas special after the New Year too, because that's always everyone's always bummed after no, January. Let's do it before. Let's before. do a before. New Year special. All right, fine, because it is the finale of season six. Yeah, so sure. TJ's idea was a gingerbread house competition for the draft order for the white <laughs> elephant. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. It's combining all of our yeah, favorite things. So let's do it. Yeah. All right, we'll figure out a date. We'll let everyone know. Can Nick Skype in, maybe? I'll Skype in. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure out a date. Also, can o- Oday come? Yes. No. No doubt. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he never uh, put me on a. He never put me on the fucking list. Yeah, I too. saw the recent Odaniacs list. I dropped from like three to like forty six. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see his elf video? Shocking. I saw his elf. He video. said I hit him up. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" He's like, "I thought you'd never talk to me again." I was like, "What?" You're Tyler O'Day. He gaslit you. He gaslit me. You came crawling back. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out, though. We'll have something special for everyone. Real special. All right. See everyone tomorrow. Hell yeah.